like we've been trying to get ready here tonight. Did you enjoy the worship of the Lord? I really did. I really did. Amen. This whole service has just been so uplifting to me and my soul and I trust the church feels the same way. I enjoyed every part of it. Uh, whatever the Lord could give the song service, whatever he gave the youth while they were out, um, the praises in the beginning, the healing, the prayer for the sick, uh, the Lord gave them read off, uh, what he gave us in the praise of the last song. Did you know that last song is pure Hebrew? And you really won't understand that at all unless you understand the Bible and the Word of God. Who is, who is Eliab? Who is Rebecca? Who are the camels? How many humps do the camel have? Uh, where, where's Rebecca riding on the camel? What's holding her on the camel? Uh, who is Isaac? Where is Isaac? Oh, my, my, my. That song is Hebrew. Hebrew, Hebrew. Oh, get ready. My soul stirred. I guess you heard me up here shouting, didn't you? How could you not hear me? I meant for you to hear me. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, get ready. Oh, get ready. The evening shadows fall. Well, we're going to do a lot between now and the last shadow falling. Got the weekend coming up. You that are going to North Florida with me in the morning, Panama City. Be there tomorrow night and Friday night. Be back here for the weekend. Uh, and Brother Billy Hendricks, the preacher up there that heard about us, said, Brother Marlow, can you give me two nights? I don't know what we're going to find when we get to Panama City. We'll find what God has for us up there. And then Sister McCormick, Brother McCormick called me today, said, Brother Marlowe, did you know we had a morning prayer meeting here this morning? We prayed for you all, prayed for you coming up. And uh, a little place called Ebro, Florida, out in the country, up there, Brother Hendricks, the country preacher. And uh, we were having prayer meeting, and another preacher, another pastor, a lady pastor, came in to have a beautiful church just around the corner from where we are. And she came in and said, uh, who is that Brother Marlowe coming up here? Uh, I'm going to come over tomorrow night and hear him. Maybe I'll invite him over to my church. Maybe a fire started up there in North Florida. Amen. Who knows? Let's carry our torches around. Let's try to light the fires. Uh, Brother Adolph, yes, hold that truth. Precious truth. God's put in our hearts. And pray that God will let it be a blessing. We'll leave here at 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, about 8 hours up there and 8 hours coming back. And tomorrow night, but God will help us and uh, do what we can. I believe there's a light lighting up in that section up there. God, let it shine. And we'll be back here Saturday night. We're going to believe God for a great, great weekend of gathering in this place. In between that, tomorrow night, the band will be ready and go down to Port Charlotte and stand by. Brother Stewart and Sister Stewart, keep that uh, lit up there. And they're working on their building down there. And as soon as they get it ready and we move into it, we'll have a fellowship night. Get ded dedicate the church in Fort Charlotte. A new building, a new location. Praise the name of the Lord. So there's a lot to do, do for the Lord. Let's keep our church lively and lovely and sweet and good and work and do what God tells us to do. Uh, Sister Brenda, you already got your own song ready for Saturday night and Sunday. Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> get ready. Oh, get ready, children. All right, dinner is in the dining room. Please bring salad fixings. Sounds southern, doesn't it? Garlic bread and desserts. And uh, let's have dinner in our dining room Sunday. 
Let me go ahead and announce our annual three-day meeting this year will be February the 11th, 12th, and 13th, 14th year. It'll be a little earlier than March was last year. Have our annual 67th school, School of the Prophets. Here, that's what we used to call it. The School of the Prophets. Now we call it a three-day meeting. Back then in the 40s when they started it, we called it the School of the Prophets. And he used to have a saying, when the School of the Prophets come to town, they empty the churches out. It used to be the same. We have them this three-day meeting. Look forward to it. February the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, start getting people ready. And uh, ministers will be coming, people will be coming. And look forward to our meeting this year. Praise God. I want to welcome Chris tonight, our young man of right Chris Cullen. To him, uh, and uh, I said, "You know who I am?" He said, "I, I'm not sure, but I think." I said, "I'm Pastor Marlow." I said, "Your mother came to this church. She's just a little girl, and I rode all the way to Houston, Texas, sitting right beside your mother on a big 53 passenger bus with a busload of you. We got there to the Houston meeting, and what a time we had!" And your mother got sick on the way back. And uh, I had to sit by her and kind of hold her hand and pray for her. The bus broke down. We were stranded in Louisiana. And uh, had to have a prayer meeting outside the bus. It was getting dark. And I had a flat tire going up there, and a flat tire coming back. And uh, had a busload of young people to get back home. We were stranded there in Louisiana. That God provided for us and uh, started a service station before we got out in Louisiana. And I got to hear the story of uh, that on 109 from a truck driver that night and uh, the rest of the young people sleeping in the bus. Oh, we've got some good memories, haven't we? As long as you stay around here, you'll get memories. You can talk about them. what happened, where it happened. Praise the name. We're a family. Absolutely. Look at your sister and brother and say, we're family. We're family. We're family. We're family. Praise the name of the Lord. We're family. Let's look forward to a great weekend. Tell somebody about the church. Invite somebody to come. Stir them up real good. And the Lord bless you. Chris, come back and be with us again. God bless you. You don't know. The Lord may make a profit out of you. Play the evangelist to the church. You just don't know what God will do. Amen. Good to, good to see everybody home. Praise God. All right, what we got now? Happy birthday.